Hi everyone. So uh, in this video, what we're doing is we're building some or a rocket mass heater to bring out to Standing Rock to help um, help out with the winterization of the camp for the water protectors out there. I'm hooked up with some natural builders who are building some straw bale structures, like a schoolhouse and community hall. And uh, so we're going to bring out a, a heater to help heat that space and keep the people warm um, using a rocket mass heater, um, using much less wood, much cleaner burning than a regular wood stove. So. Um, we're using this book right here, Rock Mass Heater Builder's Guide, um, by Ernie and Erica. Uh, they're kind of friends of ours out here at the Ant Village at Wheat Labs, and uh, they know a lot um, about Rock Mass Heaters, and it's a really good guide that we're using to help us do this. Um, I've never actually built one of these before, so it's a good test of um, how this can be done, how, how difficult it really is. So we got a lot of, uh, we've got some materials here. I've got some metal barrels. Uh, this is a barrel for, for Evan's stove in his house. But we've got some fire brick over here as well. I got the regular fire brick, and then we have this is a super insulative fire brick. It's really lightweight, uh, kind of fragile too. So we're going to use a combination of those and build an 8 inch system. A lot like what's in uh, Cooper Cabin right now up here, if you guys follow what's going on in Permies. Um, and then we've got these barrels. Today we're going to um, burn the paint off these barrels using the pocket rocket. Uh, style method and then also use a plasma cutter to cut the holes um, for the manifold, cut the shape for the manifold and cut the lids off um, and get these materials ready to bring out there. Um, I had a had a GoFundMe going right now so um, thank you to all those people who have donated to that. Um, we couldn't have done this without you. Um, really means a lot so thank you very much. Um, we're gonna get on working on this project. Follow along. So that was super easy to do with the plasma cutter. Really quick, just cut these holes. Uh, so now we got to um, install a downward feed tube and then a chimney on this um, to burn the paint off of this uh, barrel so it doesn't off gas while it's being used. So we're following directions uh, for this pocket rocket um, contraption here, which uh, will help burn off the, the paint. So I've got the holes cut. Um, I got this stovepipe down in there with some screws to hold it in place. And uh, I don't know if you can see that down there. It's about three to four inches off the bottom, and that will be the feed tube. And then in this hole, we'll go this pipe, which will be the chimney. And It'll make a nice, fast, hot burn, which will burn up all the paint. There's another step involved, as you'll see soon. So we got our pocket rocket going on this first barrel. Uh, what we did is we took uh, lacy paper and dipped it in slip and wrapped it around the barrel. And that uh, is supposed to insulate the barrel and... Uh, Make it help it get hotter and then that'll just burn up and fall off as the paint burns off. So it's the first time I've ever done this, so I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> um, this is the down feed tube. A little hard to get the fire going in there, but it looks like it's going pretty good now. So we're starting to do our mock up here, just just uh, dry bricks. I got our first two courses here um, with the dimensions. Uh, here that we need this way and across that way. I'm going off this uh, 8 inch cheat sheet book, uh, cheat sheet in this book here, uh, which is really helpful. Describes how to place all the bricks, so I'm going to keep going. Thousand feet 
Hey, so uh, we've been working into the evening here. Uh, we made some pretty good progress on the rock mass heater build. Uh, we got this all mocked up here and uh, got the manifold cut out. So we get these little shapes here so it fits down over uh, this core. And I also have the holes cut out for the uh, exhaust, which will go down the bench. I actually made two manifolds since I had to cut a barrel in half anyway. Um, that way we can bring this with us to Standing Rock and if they have extra bricks we can build another another uh, copy of this pretty easily. So that worked out pretty well. I um, also got the barrels out here that we're trying to get the rest of the paint off. Uh, this one didn't quite uh, get all the paint off. It wasn't quite hot enough but uh, got most of it anyway. And, uh, and then these manifolds will probably just put in the fire um, once we're out at Standing Rock or possibly here in the next few days. Okay, so we're uh, just about leaving on our way to Standing Rock. We made a stop here in Missoula at the uh, materials yard. And we uh, picked up a bunch of fire brick. Uh, we loaded some of it already. Here we got some half bricks. So I'm getting up for our, our stove as well as uh, there's another group building. Um, Rock Mass Cedar's out there and needs some more bricks, so I'm going to pick some up from them as well. And, uh, and we'll be on our way. We got all our supplies here and donations, and uh, we're going to get this thing loaded up and get on the road. Hey, everybody. So I uh, finally got my phone charging up enough to do an update. I am here at Sacred Stone Camp. Um, we're all here. We made the drive out uh, from Montana. Um, got all our materials unloaded here and uh, returned the trailer and uh, we've been camping with and working with the people building this straw bell schoolhouse you see all around me um, it's pretty cool they got this built and it's only been maybe a little less than two weeks um, on this project we've been putting up trusses and we're gonna try to get the roof up in the next couple days but um they're, they've already got um, materials to build a rocket mass heater inside this building we actually brought them some of our uh, or bought some extra fire brick for their heater I've been in, in contact with these people and so we're helping on this project while we're searching for a good permanent place to put our heater in um, and basically just helping wherever we needed wherever help is needed um, yesterday we worked on a kind of root cellar thing um, to help them store their food so it doesn't doesn't freeze and uh, yeah, it's it's an amazing place. Lots of people here, lots of love, um, everybody working together and, and moving things along. It's, it's really inspiring. I mean, we could be doing this everywhere. We could be, need something done in your neighborhood, get together the people, share share the work, share the love, and uh, make it happen. That's what we're doing here. So, um, not much to say about the Rock Mass Heaters yet, but we're just taking it as it comes. And uh, pretty happy to be working on this project. A lot of really cool people, a lot of permies, obviously, and uh, making good connections and having having a good time. So I'll check in later. Good morning. Um, I'm back here at the Straw Bale site working on it today. Um, last night there was um, action out on the bridge, people uh, at the police roadblock, um, and people were out there to pray, and uh, you know, we were met with resistance as they have been, and um, when we went out there for a little bit to support, um, and the cops were using water jets, a big water hose on top of the truck, just spraying everybody, and tear gas, and rubber bullets, and the like. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's in the 20s out here right now, and they're spraying everybody down with water. Um, you might hear on the news, I don't know about when this video is coming out, but some of the news places are reporting that the um, protectors lit cars on fire, and that's why the cops um, used water, but there was no fires when they were using the water. I was there. Um, anyway, I feel like uh, my place here is getting, helping to get this schoolhouse closed up so we can have a nice warm place um, 
for all these people who are going up there and putting their lives on the line, literally, for the cause. Um, the hypothermia is a really big threat out here. It's pretty cold. But, um, we got a lot of help out here. Um, there's big actions going on out there as well and in Bismarck today. And um, we're hopefully going to get this roof up today and get some tar paper on it so it's at least closed up and we can start working on the heater inside. Um, oh, last night I went, before I went over to the action, I went over to uh, Osseti Camp, which is across the river, really um, large. Um, it's huge, it's massive. Um, and while I was over there, I met a guy, I saw him. Um, digging up a pile of clay. I'm like, what are you doing with the clay? So I'm building rocket mass heaters. Oh, okay. Um, so I went with him to see what he's doing. And they're building really like quick and dirty um, rocket mass heaters inside uh, teepee. Um, basically digging the J-tube into the earth and then um, putting just a stovepipe on top of that and then surrounding the stovepipe with a uh, cob mixed with vermiculite um, as an insulator. So. Um, just like a good like five inches around that. It's a really large heat riser. It's kind of different from what I'm used to seeing, but it was really quick to build, really cheap. And then uh, after that, they put the barrel over it, kind of just dig a, a hole in the ground for the manifold and uh, wrap the uh, the stove pipe underneath the ground in the teepee for the mass and uh, keep people warm. Um, really cool. Before that, they had a just like a rocket stove set up with just regular brick just for cooking inside the teepee and for keeping it warm. That was really, really good. Um, totally different style um, from what I'm used to seeing with, like, you know, the home installations. These are kind of installations for being temporary, um, keeping people warm at actions like this. So that's really cool to see. Um, so hopefully I can go over there and help them some more with that and um, find a good space for our heater. Uh, I feel like that might be a little bit down the road. Um, but we just take it one day at a time. Go where I'm needed. So I'm going to get back to work. everybody. Uh, back at the Straw Bale Schoolhouse project today again. Um, we had a really amazing day yesterday. We got a whole lot of work done. Um, we thought some snow was going to come in so we wanted to get the roof covered. So we actually worked a couple hours after the sun went down and got the rest of the sheeting up there and um, finished most of the tar paper last night. And uh, It was really cool. We were all working together. Um, nice frenzy pace to get everything everything finished and it was really really good it all worked out really well um, we're continuing to work on the framing over there right now to get those walls uh, built in and then they're also working on the getting the rock and mass heater started on the inside so this is going to be a nice warm place soon enough here um, yeah it's been a good day Evan and, and Carol Ann been working on Evan's little uh rocket cook stoves made from trash and mud and I'll put out another video about that because that's pretty pretty amazing um, and yeah just continuing to work on this space um, get it nice and warm um, things have calmed down a little bit around here um, as far as the actions go there's still um, things going on to help oppose the pipeline so um, we can get back to work on this building here all right, good morning. Um, another day here at the schoolhouse, here at Second Stone. Um, yesterday, my friend Nathan, who holds the Celebration of the Elements from some of my other videos, um, he's here and he found a place for us to build our heater. Um, it's in another schoolhouse over at Ochetti. Um, a different, more uh, kind of a hoop house kind of structure. Um, and it's, it's pretty big, it's almost as big as this building, really. And um, so I think it's gonna work out really well. Um, I'm working on the design for the heater. Um, I think I'm going to build it up on pallets so that potentially it could be moved if it ever needs to be moved um, in kind of four sections and um, I think it's going to work out alright. Um, so I just loaded up all the fire brick into my truck and bring it over to that site um, and continue to help these guys here. Their metal roof is coming in a couple days hopefully and I, I got experience doing that from uh, helping my neighbor Tom this summer doing two of those roofs. So. 
I'm still going to be helping these guys here on this when they need my expertise and as well as uh, working on the heater over there when I have the materials lined up. Uh, I'm going to go to Bismarck today and try to get some of the materials I need. Thank you to all those um, who contributed to the GoFundMe. This is what's making it possible for me to go buy all those materials. So thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it all worked out really well. Um, it's a good space. Uh, it'll keep the kids warm, which is really amazing. Um, and uh, some of the people working on that project are from here from Standing Rock too, so they're gonna help me build it and learn about rock and mass heaters, learn how to build them, and um, spread that spread that technology around, um, which is a really big um, help in getting off of fossil fuels, which is really what this this whole fight is about, in part, um, heating ourselves with wood that grows on trees, not oil from the ground. So. I'm real excited about this. I'm gonna get moving today. Just wanted to give you a little update. See you next time.